everybody, this is Adam Kokish here in San Francisco, joined by Ora Bateta, one of the organizers of the Nicaragua Solidarity Rally happening behind us. This is in wake of some of the incidents we've seen in Nicaragua recently by President Ortega and the recent attempts to reform the pension system and seek a balanced budget. But obviously, there's a little more to the story than that, Ora. Why do you think people here who are uh, some uh, mainly descendants of Nicaraguans, even though they live in California, protesting about what's going on in Nicaragua. Whatever happens in Nicaragua, it hurt to Nicaraguans' descendants, wherever might be, in Europe, in Central America, U.S., you name it. So what is the most offensive, troubling thing that you see out of the Ortega administration right now? Corruption and the massacre taking place with the youth. Okay, so give us the backstory on the massacre, please. Well, the students, uh, woke up in the universities and decided to protest the illegal move to lower the pensions to elderly and, and, and uh, increase the, the um, taxes for the social the, the deduction for social security uh, in, in their jobs. That is a legal move, unjust, and, and uh, the, the main reason why the social security is in bankruptcy almost right now is because of the corruption. The government has not paid the money taken to the workers. The government owes over $500 million and he doesn't pay, to the, he doesn't contribute. When he took power, the social security had surplus. Um, for uh, one million fourteen, one hundred no, one million fourteen thousand dollars surplus. Ten years later, the the system is broke, and the elderly, the workless people, helpless, are suffering. So we cannot take it. We cannot take it. And Daniel Ortega has to realize the criminality over the people and has to go. So there's a certain amount of money that's just been lost in the system to corruption at this point. But where you are now as a country with this uh, pension plan, with these commitments, with the government budget as it is, do you think that there is any justification for saying, hey, we really do have to look at this, we have to balance the budget, we, we're going to have to raise taxes and cut the benefits? Or is there a way to, to avoid that entirely? Well, the problem is the Social Security system needs only um, 1,114 1, employees. He increased the quota of the employees, but who are they? They're uh, groups for repression, uh, to oppress the people, and, and that is where the money is going okay, to. So you want to, you want to take it to cut the size of the, the bloated administration, right? Uh, but you also want him to maintain benefits. Are, are you suggesting that he should raise taxes in order to, to make, make uh, the, the commitments? Well, the expertise in that subject have to take the matters, okay? That is the real reorganization of the system. But the main issue, what we are demanding now, is Ortega out, out of power. We don't want a dialogue, we don't want any other, nothing to do with him, to get out of the power. That's all we ask. And we need it, and we demand, and we will get it. So, it. so you don't have so much of a position on the exact details, the numbers of the pension system, so much as you want to see an end of the corruption, you want to see the, the protesters respected as opposed to, to violently suppressed by government, and you want to see or Ortega step down, is that correct? That's, all. that's, that's the main point now, right now, for him to go. So it's definitely a kind of robbery, right, when they, when they take money from the people and say this is going to pensions and it goes to corruption? Money out of the system to build buildings, okay? To, and, and the buildings are empty right now. All the revenue from the Social Security went to particular business, benefiting him, benefiting 
his atrocities, so we cannot take it. No. So uh, does this get, does this uh, do, do you think that if you got Ortega replaced, that you would find uh, you would find someone who's trustworthy and and wonderful to run the government? Oh yes, definitely. We have we have a clean and honest, transparent people. We do. Well, haven't you had problems with the government in Nicaragua in the past? Well, we have been living dictatorship after dictatorship since. And, and by the way, in, two, in 221, two, 2021, our, we are uh, achieving 200 years of the independence. And we are still, from the independence, we have been living under dictators. Dictatorship. Well, there's a lot of foreign influence there too, right? Foreign manipulation of the Nicaragua government? Well, the Russians, Venezuela, uh, the, the, the Alba countries, whatever you call it. Uh, the United States too, right? The United States government? Well, the United States are in the business area, you know, <laughs> manipulating the, the you just, trade. You just assume that the American government is going to make things difficult. Well, we just want the Nicaraguans to be alone, to be left alone, and let us decide what, you know, to, to develop our own system of living. Without outside interference, right? But you, you said you, if we get rid of Ortega, all of a sudden the pattern's going to break. Don't you think it would be better to have some systems that, that we don't trust to government so that we don't have the people who are responsible for retirement and, and providing pensions, that they're not people who can suppress protests and, and steal with corruption? That is the reason why every Nicaraguan has to be on the alert and be active, be active, to once for all give democracy a chance. Well, democracy is ruled by the people, right? That is correct. So wouldn't you have better rule by the people if, if you decentralized government, if you got rid of this centralized system that can abuse you and had government down more at the community level or the voluntary level so people weren't forced to participate? You don't have to fight with a central authority that can violently suppress protests? With transparency and legality, independency in each of branches, of the system, it would not happen. Right, well, I hope you're right, and I hope that getting Ortega out can, can improve the situation and lessen the, the burden of theft from government in Nicaragua. Left. Or thank you very much yes, for your time. Definitely. We are, we are getting rid of him this uh, time. Are there any websites you want to recommend or anything else you want to say to our audience about this issue? Well, I, I only ask your support, your solidarity, for the people of Nicaragua who are in defense. People are carrying a cellular phone, books. That's their weapons. Are they hurting you? Instead, we're getting bullets from AK-47. That's what the kids are getting right now, are getting killed by the criminals groups in the police and the mobs that Ortega are paying. No, he, have to go. he has to go. Well, I hope this leads you to question a little deeper than just the individual who happens to be in charge of the system right now to think that there's something fundamentally wrong with the system itself. Let me tell you, Nicaraguans are intelligent and we have learned the hard way to be on the alert and to know how to select members of government. Hasn't worked very well recently. Well, the people did not vote for Ortega. 38% he was elected with, correct? Still, up to this day, 8% of the votes, we don't know what happened. The result, we don't know. And historically, the voting poll was 50% plus one to the winner. We don't know the results. And we have not known election after election after elections. How many times, how much longer do we have to wait for legality, for transparency, for honesty?
No, cannot go beyond this date. Cannot go. Thank you very much, Aura. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.